In today's video, we will be studying about the types of pathological calcification. Our learning objectives are to understand the mechanism of pathological calcification in the body, to study the differences between the two types of calcification with examples. So pathological calcification is abnormal deposition of calcium in tissue along with small amount of other minerals. It's of two types. Dystrophic calcification occurring in dying tissue. Metastatic calcification occurs in normal tissue when there is hypercalcemia. Let us look at the differences between dystrophic and metastatic calcification. So, dystrophic calcification occurs in dead and degenerated tissue. D for dystrophic, D for dead, D for degenerated. Metastatic calcification occurs in normal tissue. In dystrophic calcification, the calcium metabolism is normal, so is the serum calcium level. In metastatic calcification, there is hypercalcemia with deranged calcium metabolism. As the tissue is already dead and degenerated, so it is an irreversible process in dystrophic calcification, whereas metastatic calcification is reversible upon correction of the metabolic disorder. Pathogenesis, increased binding of phosphate with necrotic tissue and degenerative tissue in case of dystrophic calcification. Whereas here there is increased precipitation of calcium phosphate due to hypercalcemia at certain sites such as lung, stomach, blood vessels and cornea. As mentioned, dystrophic calcification occurs in dead tissue such as necrotic tissue. Caseous necrosis of TB, liquefactor necrosis may get calcified. Fat necrosis can get converted to calcium soups seen in pancreas. Gamma Gandhi bodies in chronic venous congestion of spleen, hematomas in the vicinity of bone, dead parasites, hydrated cysts can get calcified. Calcification in breast cancer, so that is a very useful tip. On mammography, if there is irregular calcification, yes, it is a soft point towards malignancy. Calcification occurring in degenerated tissue such as old scars, Monkeyberg medial calcific sclerosis occurring in the tunica media in the blood vessels of myometrium, especially in postmenopausal women. Samoma bodies seen in a variety of tumors, most important being papillary carcinoma of thyroid, meningiomas, papillary serous carcinomas of ovary and endometrium, atheromas. So this is a calcific iotic stenosis. We can make out the calcium here, which is occluding the lumen and the valve gets stenosed or narrowed down. What we can observe in this case of monkey bug medial calcific sclerosis is the tunica media here. This is the tunica media and we find here this basophilic material with sharp edges. This is the how calcium appears in HND stain. Samoma bodies in papillary carcinoma of thyroid. So what we have is multiple papillae with optically clear nuclei also called as often any nuclei but our attention should be drawn here towards this calcified concentric lamellae of samoma bodies. So metastatic calcification occurs because of excessive mobilization of calcium from bone seen in conditions such as hyperparathyroidism. Destructive bony lesions such as multiple myeloma. Prolonged immobilization of patient such as a bedridden patient due to bone resorption. Excessive absorption of calcium from the gut such as hypervitaminosis D, milk alkali syndrome caused by excessive oral intake of calcium in the form of milk and administration of calcium carbonate in the treatment of peptic ulcer, hypercalcemia of infancy. Which are the sites? Kidney in the basement membrane of tubular epithelium and in the tubular lumina causing nephrocalcinosis, in the alveolar walls of lungs, in the acid secreting fundal gland of stomach, internal elastic lamina of blood vessels and in the cornea. Which are the special stains for calcium? Alizarin red, von Kusa. To summarize, pathological calcification is of two types, dystrophic and metastatic calcification. Dystrophic calcification is seen in dead and degenerated tissue with normal calcium levels. Examples, samoma bodies, monkey bugs, medial calcific sclerosis. Metastatic calcification is seen in normal tissue in conditions of deranged calcium metabolism with hypercalcemia, such as excessive mobilization of calcium from bone, excessive absorption of calcium from the gut, special stains of calcium, you should remember von Kosa and alizarin red. 
these are my references please like subscribe and share this channel and hit the bell button for further notifications